Hello Food Day friends. This will be a quick unboxing and first impressions of the Beautylish Presents Hachiko Kabuki brush. So I just got this in the mail and I will open it on camera in the hopes that it is still available, which as of filming this, it is. And if any of you were on the fence about it, maybe I can share my initial thoughts and help guide your purchasing decision. So Beautylish always packs their items beautifully. Such a treat to receive. And I'm gonna go straight into the brush. I looked down and my camera had stopped filming. So this is take two, which I will combine with the previous shot and hopefully it comes out coherent. What I was saying is that it comes in this beautiful black cardboard box with a design on the front. It says Beautylish Presents Hachiko, and on their website it is described as a collector's edition brush to commemorate the story of Hachiko, a dog beloved in Japan and around the world for his remarkable loyalty. It is made of Saikoho goat, so it's recommended to be used only with powder products, and it is limited edition. It retails for $80, and as of filming this, it is still available to purchase on the Beautylish website. I like how the box was sized to fit the handle, that way it will travel well and you can also use this box to store it or display it. I think that adds presentation points and makes it even more exquisite as if the brush wasn't enough on its own, which it is. First impression is that it's very, very heavy. It just falls in your hand. It feels so luxurious with the weight. I could see it being displayed on a vanity, on a desk, on a bookshelf, anywhere you'd like. It will be a joy to look at and admire and to pet. So when you first run your fingers through it, it is so soft, so silky. The bundling is very precise, not a hair out of order. And I really like, I hadn't paid that much attention to the design. When I looked at it, I was focused on the dog and his owner and the statue is it focusing there we go but i hadn't noticed that the design wraps all around the top here with the blue the bottom but also the bottom of the brush which you wouldn't see when it is sitting down but it, it's very nice attention to detail it is beautifully made I, I know it's not hand painted. If it were, this brush would be much more expensive. I personally don't mind. I would rather have the beautiful goat hair, the beautiful craftsmanship at a more affordable price than having spent a lot more money for a hand painted brush. I think the price also makes it more likely for me to use. You can use this brush. The shape is similar to other kabuki brushes I have. You can use it for loose powder, pressed powder, perhaps even bronzer, uh, buffing, finishing, setting. It is Saikoho Goat, so it's more versatile in usage. But what I'm trying to say is that I personally don't think I'll reach for this as much for everyday use just because I want to keep the handle pristine I would be worried about dropping it breaking it chipping it and it's also a little heavy you know I'm not sure it'll be that user friendly to pick up and use it on your face I will test it I will try it get back to you with a formal review all of this is to say is that if you've been on the fence about this brush aren't sure I think you should go for it. It is limited edition. You will be happy to have it. I would love it if they came out with more hand, more brushes with similar handles, different designs. I could see myself collecting these and laying them out on a vanity next to each other. They're absolutely precious. I'll take a minute to quickly compare it to some other Kabukis. So this is the Kyoto White Mushroom Brush Softness. They feel about the same and it could be because this one was packaged and in a sleeve that it looks a little skinnier. It may blossom. I will again follow up on that but the white mushroom brush appears to be more rounded and more fluffed up. It also covers a greater surface area. So I will be interested to see if it's just because the new one hasn't blossomed but 
I will note that this Kyudo brush retails for more than $80, so right there I find this to be a good value for a brush that has a similar brush head, is more of a collector's piece, and in my opinion has a more unique and heartwarming handle that reminds you of some Japanese history and traditions. And then here is also another Kyoto mushroom style brush. This one does have softer hairs, but the price tag on this one was also substantially more than either of these two. Um, maybe these two combined is around the price of this one. I can't remember. I'll link it in the description box below. But again, the shape feels quite similar here. So... I think it's a very good option if you've had in mind one of these Kyudo Kabukis, wanted to try the shape, the Kabuki, see if you end up liking these for everyday use or not. This is a good starting option and it would make a great gift for your friends, family, someone you want to introduce to Fude, especially because it comes packaged in this beautiful box. So thank you Beautylish for these lovely brush designs and the very fair pricing behind them. I am a big fan and I hope I can continue to add to my collection. Thank you all for watching and as always, friendly reminder to please say no to bluefin tuna.